Hi, this is Jaya. In today's literary terms, we shall see about historical fiction. Now, what is historical fiction? Historical fiction is only a genre where it tells you a plot, that is a story about something which happened in the past. Generally, it is uh, an event which really happened, but at the same time, there are many fictions which are also imaginarily written. Now, this historical fiction, uh, we always say it started with Sir Walter Scott's uh, writings. But even before that, we do have some historical uh, fiction. But we generally assign Sir Walter Scott as the person who is the father of historical fiction. And at the same time, his contemporaries in France, like the Frenchman Honor de Balzac and uh, the American James Fenny Cooper, Fenimore Cooper, and in Russia, Leo Tolstoy, they also take the credit of being the persons who pioneered in uh, historical fiction. But if you see in ancient literature, whether it is Greek literature, Roman literature or even Indian literature, we have historical uh, fiction in the form of oral and folk traditions. And uh, they were uh, present in the form of mythology and folklore. And through that, many epics, novels, plays and other fictional works were produced. Now, when we see Walter Scott's Waverly novels, uh, they created an interest in Scottish history. In the same way, all the historical novels, they will give you uh, the life, the culture, the civilization and also the uh, happenings of your past. In the same way, Victor Hugo's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, it, uh, really led to a movement which helped in preserving the gothic architecture of france and rl stevenson's kidnapped and charles dickens barnaby raj uh, tells us about the guardian riots and uh, charles dickens a tale of two cities um, reveals the french revolution the happenings of the french revolution at the same time certain historical fictions uh, we will have to question because uh, whether they are accurate or not definitely there is no historical evidence for that example of that is alexander dumas's queen margaret and of course we have postmodernist novels uh, novelists such as uh, john barth and thomas pynchon where they mix the historical characters and settings with their own invented history and fantasy as in the novels like the sawtweed factor and mason and dixon and uh, some uh, writers they will not create any uh, characters of their own and uh, they will present the events as it happened like the series of masters of rome by colin mc uh, Collag. and of course in the classical greek we have the iliad which treats the historic events though we say it is an epic poetry one of the earliest examples of the historical novels in Europe is La Princess de Clevis. It was published in 1678 itself and generally we say it was written by Madame de La Fayette but many say even it is uh, anonymous like the writer is not known. And even Jane Porter's uh, 1803 novel Thadas of Warsaw is one of the earliest examples of historical novels in English. The first true historical novel in English was in fact uh, Maria Edgeworth's Castle Rackrent, which came in 1800. And of course, we have a lot of historical fictions in English and in French and in other languages. Uh, some I have given here, like Scott's novels, uh, such as Waverly novels, then Rob Roy and Ivanhoe, and uh, Thackeray's Vanity Fair, Vanity Fair, and Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities, George Eliot's Romolo, and Charles Kingsley's uh, Westward Ho and Hereward the Wake. And The Trumpet Major is uh, written by Thomas Hardy. It is a historical novel. And of course, we have uh, James Fenimore Cooper's famous novel, The Last of the Mohicans, a narrative of 1757, which was written in 1826. And Nathaniel Hafthron's uh, The Scarlet Letter. And Balzac's uh, Les Chauvins. And Alexander Dumas's The Count of Monte Cristo and the Three Musketeers and Tolstoy's War and Peace, William Golding's The Inheritors, The Spire, The Scorpion God, The Trilogue to the Ends of the Earth, which includes the Rites of Passage, Close Quarters, and Fire Down Below. And of course, we have William Faulkner's novel Absalom, 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 and we have Kenneth Roberts' uh, Northwest Passage, Oliver Wiswell, and Lydia Bailey. And Gone with the Wind was written by Margaret Mitchell, and it's one of the best uh, novels about the war 
and R L Stevenson's Treasure Island and uh, many more novels are there, uh, historical novels. And uh, when you are writing a fiction, uh, particularly as a historical novel, there are seven elements which has to come as its characteristics. They are character, dialogue, setting, theme, plot, conflict, and world building. Uh, when you take character, whether the character is a real character or an imagined character, uh, it should behave according to the time it is uh, portraying. And the people, when they read the novel, they should feel that they are taken to that time. And the dialogues also should have uh, words and phrases to feel the time period. Uh, settings means time and place. The writer should transport the readers into the past. And details of the setting should be revealed throughout the novel in uh, costume, food, in furniture, housing, toiletries, entertainment, landscape, architecture, conveyances, sounds, smells, tastes, etc. And the theme must be interpreted within the context of the novel's time period. And plot also has to make sense of for the time period. Same way conflicts means the problems faced by the characters in the story should be conveyed to the readers and it, it must be satisfactory. It should have some truth in them. And world building. While building a world for the readers, the costumes, I'm sorry, the customs, social arrangements, family environment, government, religious structures, international alliances, military actions, physical geography, layouts of the towns and cities and politics of the time should be relevant. And particularly when you are writing about the layout of the cities, the city should be portraying the time period in which the novel is set. I hope uh, this information will be useful to you. And if you have anything to say about uh, historical novels, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends. And if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.